oh no, I'm trying to register for classes and I got an error message. What do I do now? Don't panic. We are here to help. In this video, we'll be discussing common registration errors, what they mean, and how to resolve them. And remember, if you need additional help, you can always contact your academic advisor. This means that there are no more seats in the section of the course that you selected and no waitlist available. You can search for other sections of the same course in Pause or College Scheduler, or you can go to CATS which is a master list of all courses offered in each term. If other sections of the same course are open, then you should register for an open section. If not, then you will need to select a different course. This means that the available seats are being reserved for another group of students. Select another section or, if able, join the waitlist. Please remember that it is in your best interest to join an open section when possible rather than join a waitlist. This means that your course times are overlapping. You can check the course times and dates using CATS. If you've already been granted permission to take overlapping courses, you'll need to contact the department that gave you permission. Otherwise, select a different course. This means that you do not have the proper classification to register for the course, such as freshman, sophomore, etc. Eligibility for some courses is based on credit hours. For example, if you have 60 credit hours and haven't completed a GC2Y, you will not be able to register for one during your registration time, as GC2Ys are restricted to sophomores and 60 credit hours gives you junior classification. Please note that this is based on earned and current hours, so it includes the credit hours of your current term in the calculation. Some restricted courses, like GC2Is, open to students with other classifications the week after registration. Others are always restricted. This means that you're trying to register for more than 18 hours, which is the maximum allowed in the fall and spring terms. To register for more than 18 hours, you need permission from your advisor and the department chair of your program. This means that you are an undergraduate student and have selected a graduate level course. Undergraduate students are only allowed to take a graduate level course if they are a part of the Double Bobcats program. More information about Double Bobcats and how to apply can be found on the GCSE website. This means that the course that you've selected is restricted to a particular course of study. This restriction applies to some courses, even if the course is needed for your minor. Some restricted courses open to students outside of the major the week after registration. Others are always restricted. This means that you need approval from the course instructor or the department offering it. It is best to seek this permission in advance, so that way the department chair or the instructor can input an override and prevent you from receiving this error message on registration day. This means that there are no more seats in the section of the course that you selected, but there is a waitlist available. Remember, being on a waitlist is never a guarantee that you'll be able to register for the course. Your best option is to choose a section with available seats when possible, rather than waitlist for a section that is full. If you do have to get on a waitlist, be sure to choose the shortest one. You can see how many people are on a waitlist by viewing the course information in CATS. Remember, receiving this error message does not mean that you are on the waitlist. You'll need to add yourself by using the drop-down menu next to the course, then clicking Submit. When the drop-down menu turns green and says Waitlisted, then you've officially been added. This means that the five-digit course reference number, or CRN, is invalid. The course may have been canceled or you may have copied it incorrectly. Please refer to CATS to ensure that the CRN is correct and the course is still being offered. You may also be trying to enter a CRN from the wrong term. All spring CRNs begin with a two, all summer CRNs begin with a five, and all fall CRNs begin with an eight. This is the duplicate course error, 
which means that you're trying to register for two courses with the same course code, such as Arts 4950. Some courses have the same code, despite being different courses with different names. If you need to take two courses with the same course code in a single term, then you need to seek permission from the department offering the course ahead of time so they can override this error. This means that you have not met the prerequisite for the course you selected. For example, you need to take English 1101 before you can take English 1102, as English 1101 is a prerequisite. Sometimes you'll receive this error when trying to register for an honors course if you are not an honors student. Honors courses are most clearly marked in CATS. You can view course prerequisites in the university catalog. Go to gcsu.edu, select current students from the top, then course catalog from the important link section. You can then select course description from the menu on the right hand side. You can also use the course catalog to view co-requisite courses, which are courses that must be taken together. For example, many science courses, such as Biology 1100, require you to register for both the lecture and the corresponding lab, which would be Biology 1100L. If you receive a co-requisite error, refer to the catalog to determine which additional course is needed.